What is up to a Patriot Ranch family? We are back at the ranch today. We've got a cast review for you today. I'm not sure why I chose to do it on like the most blazing fucking hot day that there is, but chose to do it anyway. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a duty loadout, so stay tuned. All right, as I was saying, today we're going to be taking a look at a, we'll call it a modified duty loadout. What do I mean by modified? Well, I just want to add some practicality to it. We're going to be taking some pieces that you would see in a wartime environment. We're going to take some pieces that you would see in a civilian law enforcement environment. And we're going to take out some pieces that uh, you would use in a kind of shit hits the fan scenario. So uh, I don't want to zone in on each individual one of them. Obviously, I have a military background, so I can speak a little bit to that. Uh, I am, have never been in civilian law enforcement, so I can't really speak to their total kit loadouts, even though I've trained with a few of those guys. Um, you know, and I, and I really want to kind of, uh, not delve too far deep into shit hits the fan because there's a lot of different scenarios that are involved with that, but we're going to kind of go from head to toe, butts to nuts and, uh, take a look at it all for you because it is so fucking hot out today. Um, I'm not going to be wearing my helmet. It's also daytime, so I'm not going to have any nods connected to it or anything. So, um, just real briefly, uh, you can get everything from, uh, super advanced to super lightweight to, uh, gosh, anything, just even standard bump caps for people that are out there that, uh, just don't want to hit their head. Uh, this is a, uh, level four helmet it does the purpose. You can, uh, connect your hearing protection on the side. You can connect your night vision on the front, um, and you can put a helmet cover on it. So just wanted to square that away, uh, right off the bat. So I don't have to wear it. All right. After that, let's start up here. So I have got my standard Walker razors that you guys see me wear all the time on. Now, what I'm going to go over today is a very, very, very basic comms setup. Um, it's not the most basic you could get, uh, but for kind of civilian shit hits the fan use, uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about. This is by no means a military setup, and it is by no means a law enforcement setup. But this will allow you to be able to communicate with your friends, family, and so forth. So... With that said, I have my Walker razors on. They make this attachment here that clips on to the side of the Walker razors, and it has a three and a half millimeter pin that sits up into the uh, hearing com port section. And then it has a boom style microphone that comes down right here close to your mouth. From there in this cable, and forgive me for my cable management today, um, I was throwing all this stuff together and it is hot as shit. So um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to weave all my stuff through. I did an okay job, but um, by no means is this a great, uh, great cable management system. But uh, out of the Walker Razor attachments comes this cable. This cable here feeds into a push to talk that sits right here on my chest. This thing, um, it allows a pass through so you can hear what's going on in your radio, uh, as well as collects data from your microphone. And when you push this button here, allows you to talk. 
And the greatest thing is, is that it's uh, it's not voice activated. So your your partners, your family, your friend or whatever, they're not going to hear you huffing and puffing as you run around. They'll only hear you when you hit this uh, push to talk button. From there, it comes out. I have it running underneath. Um, I already had something on this side. Plus, I don't like all of my stuff on one side. The cable runs over to the other side to my radio pouch. My radio pouch has a very basic uh, Beofang UV5R in it. Um, it is set to this one here that I have is set to all of the emergency channels here in the state of Florida, Florida and the local area. Uh, as well as a few particular comms channels that me and my family have set aside that we know when shit hits the fan and we have to communicate with each other, we'll do it on those channels. So as you can see, the full, uh, the, the full comm setup is very, very basic, but I will tell you, it is also very, very effective. You're looking at, you know, total cost, not very much. Para Walker razors, you can find these on sale any day of the week for probably right around 40 bucks. A Beofang UV5R on Amazon, like 25 bucks maybe. Push to talk, maybe another 50, 60 bucks, something like that. Uh, and this little Walker Razor attachment, I believe was another probably 50 bucks. So probably all in around $200, you can have a complete comms setup. And if you choose to use something other than a UV5R, um, the, the cable that runs into this thing connects to uh, most push-to-talk style radios. All right, moving on down from the head. As you can see, I have a plate carrier on today. I have messed around with, oh my God, I have messed around with so many plate carriers. Uh, the last one I was using before this one uh, was this... Um, was this uh, Shellback Rampage 2.0 rig. It's actually not a bad rig for the money. Today I have on the HRT Lback. Uh, I think I have finally found my carrier. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it comes stripped down, so you'll get the uh, front and back armor pouches, uh, a ton of molly on it, it uses this Tigris system on the side, as you can kind of see. Um, and then it also has uh, quick disconnects on the left and the right, as well as quick disconnects on the left and right on the top as well. So if somebody has to rip yours off, you have to rip yours off. Uh, medical personnel has to rip it off. They can easily detach your plate carrier from you. The cool thing I love about the LBAC is the complete modularity of this system. If you have standard hook and loop stuff that you just want to um, smash right onto the front, it has full hook and loop across the front. It also has D clips here that um, you can pop anything you want into. So for me, one of the cool things that I like the modularity of this system is that if you'll notice, my attachment here, this is the Maximus Placard from HRT Tactical, and it is what I normally have on my H harness and acts as my chest rig. So I can pop those D-rings out, boom, throw it right on my plate carrier, and I don't have to change any of my setup here at all. It just pops right on. Now, on the back here, you'll see I have a... Uh, zip on hydration system. It has two pouches on it, as well as on the on the top here, uh, you can throw your hydration bladder down in it, which makes it real nice and then just feed your hydration tube loop right up through the top into here. Makes it really nice on hot summer days, just like this. However, I forgot my hydration bladder, so I'm drinking out of one of these nasty plastic bottles of water today because what it's hotter than a whore in church around here so uh this lback carrier i believe comes in right at around like the 400 ish mark i believe four to five hundred um but man the weight balancement balancement is that a word uh the weight balancing on it 
is so much better than any other carrier I've used. With this Tigris system that it has on the side, it really allows the weight to be completely spread around your entire body. The 500D Curadora on here um, is double stitched just about everywhere. Um, it, it's probably one of the most comfortable things I've ever worn. Now, I will say, if you do go out and get one, and you can click the link down below to grab yourself one, if you do get one, you're going to have to watch some videos. It's not the most simple thing to kind of put together with the Tiger system and how it how it hooks through and everything. So just watch the video. <laughs> I tried to take the task on by myself and yeah, I didn't get very far. The Maximus placard, we won't get too far into this. We have uh, discussed this before in our, I believe it was our range day loadout video, but just real quick, it's got two pistol mags uh, on either side. It's got space for three rifle mags, uh, AR style mags in the center. It has two kind of little admin pouches. Uh, in one of them, I keep my AR tool as well as some optic tools in there. In the other one, I keep my knife. This knife is it from Cobra Tech D2 Steel. I'll leave a link down below. This knife right here, man. I absolutely love it. For the price point, I believe these come in right around 60, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. You can't beat it. Uh, it is a very, very good knife. These have amazing YKK zippers on them. And then underneath, you'll see I have my tourniquet that sticks out from below. Sorry, I had to pause for a second and take my headset off. I just felt the sweat pouring down. Uh, moving further down, I have my multi-tool attached to my side right here for easy access. And then on our belt, we are wearing the HRT arc belt. This thing has served a fantastic purpose. I use it on almost every range day, but it can also work as a complete duty belt setup as well. Actually, probably prefer it for that. It's made up of the same uh, Tigris material that the sides of the plate carrier are made up as, and it uses an inner and outer belt system. So the hook and loop attaches on the inside, throw the uh, outer belt over top, and you get a real, real sturdy system. We've talked about it a little bit before, so I'll kind of run right through it, but I have a Safari Land QLS uh, mid-drop uh, holster here. I don't go full douche and go full drop, just mid-douche. Um, in here, I have a P320 AXG Legion. This is my absolute gun of choice these days for a duty scenario. Also have my Walker uh, Razor headset carrier. On this side, I have a pistol mag pouch, a rifle mag pouch, a dump pouch, and my HRT IFAC. So I have my tourniquet on the front, but I have my IFAC on the bout with a bleeding control kit, gauze, all the good stuff. On the other side, I leave it pretty blank. Uh, if I have extra attachments that I wanna put on, if I wanna throw my knife down there, I can throw my knife down there. I generally don't like to carry a knife on here um, just because it tends to stick you in the side, not the sharp point, obviously, but uh, the handle of it tends to, to stick you on the side. And sometimes I put my uh, my glove hook on that side. Today I have them off because I've been wearing them, but I wear the Mechanics Wear. Uh, I believe these are the originals. Yeah, this is called the original in Multicam. I absolutely love these things. You guys have seen me wear them a ton. I cut my fingers all the time, and because today is a hot day out, when I'm out shooting, uh, my hands get super sweaty and slippery, so I love to wear gloves. While we're on the topic of firearms, let's go with a duty rifle. This is my duty rifle here. Uh, this is a little bit of a mishmash. You guys have seen me use this in previous videos to test out optics and things like that. Um, this is a Geisley uh, 14 and a half inch uh, super duty upper along with an M4E1 arrow lower. 
It's got uh, all Magpul furniture on it. It's got a Magpul foregrip, Magpul K2 Plus uh, pistol grip, as well as an SLK stock. This is my favorite um, stock. It's got a Geisley SSA E trigger on there, uh, as well as a um, Radian Raptor charging handle. I do have a Vickers, uh, the Blue Force Gear Vickers padded sling. This is my favorite sling by far. Um, next closest one is the uh, second best sling, <laughs> funny enough, second best sling uh, by GBRS Group. On the front here, I have this uh, weapon light. It is the AWLS, the Advanced Weapon Light System from HRT. It has this multi-directional uh, button on the back end so you can push up, down, left, right. It's really nice because it's right where your thumb would sit as you're grabbing up over top of the gun. Um, I usually have this or a uh, Surefire Scout light on here for optics. Uh, we have the Aimpoint Pro, the PRO, the Patrol, Patrol Rifle Optic, uh, as well as a 3X magnifier, the uh, Sig Sauer Juliet 3. This thing is set up for straight battle. Um, runs like a champ. Uh, you can't go wrong with almost all of these parts. Uh, you know, some people may say, oh, you used an arrow lower. Um, yeah, I did. Because guess what? That's not where the fun happens. The fun happens up here. And I love the color. This, this version of the FDE color that Arrow has, it matched up really nice with the Geisley Super Duty Upper. This one I don't have set up to be suppressed right now. I just have your standard uh, A2 birdcage uh, flash hider on there. Pretty soon, though, it's going to be switching to a uh, Surefire War Comp on the end of there. And um, that'll probably be the extent of any changes I make to this rifle. At the end of the day, this thing is set up pretty darn well. All right. So last but not least, uh, for accessories and attire, uh, I'm wearing a uh, 2A Patriot Ranch hat. You can get one for yourself at 2APatriotRanch.com. I am also wearing uh, Oakley Standard Issue M frames. This is the 3.0. This is the latest version. Um, I love the way these things fit. Uh, I love the lens clarity on them. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Underneath of that, because it is hot out today, I have a uh, Born Primitive Tactical uh, range shirt on. Uh, sometimes I'll wear the operator shirt, the OP shirt. Um, but it's long sleeve and just too damn hot for that right now. Uh, and then my pants, I am wearing the operator pants from Born Primitive Tactical. And my boots, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them because I can't get my leg up that high. Uh, but right now I have on uh, Reebok Coyote uh, colored boots. I'm always wearing boots out here. We've got, we've got all kinds of critters around here. So being out here in tennis shoes. Just not very smart for me. Um, I think that is everything we have covered. As I said, this is a real basic uh, duty loadout from top to bottom, butts to nuts. Um, you know, one of the things I'll say is that on any duty setup, you're going to need a few key things. First thing you're going to need, medical. You never know when you or somebody else is going to need help. So that's why I always carry a tourniquet on me and I always have an IFAC on me, an individual first aid kit. That's number one. Number two, if you have time, absolutely grab your eye protection and your hearing protection. You'll thank me later for that one. Well, shit's hitting the fan. Are you going to be able to thank me? Probably not. But you'll think about me when you do. <laughs> um, those are the top two. And the third thing I will say, and you guys know, you know, I review a broad range of firearms on this channel, a broad range of optics on this channel, everything from budget to not so budget. Do yourself a favor. If there are products that you're going to use to protect your life, protect your family's life, to protect your freedoms and to protect this country, make sure you have quality products. As you can see from my sidearm, 
This thing, absolutely fantastic. This is the Sig Sauer P320 AXG Legion with a TLR1 uh, HL Streamlight Optic and a Holosun 507K. All very reliable, tried and true, tested well. Works, works well. Leave the jokes about the P320 aside. I get it. There were some problems a few years back. Uh, second, on weapons, don't skimp on your rifles. Uh, you know, I know I was making a joke about the arrow lower, but uh, arrow makes a very, very solid product. Um, you know, it may not be the best thing on the market, but it's a very, very solid product. Get yourself a good upper, you know, Geisley. I mean, creme de la creme right there. This Super Duty upper, probably about a thousand bucks, I believe, somewhere in and around there. Well worth the price. And then when it comes to optics, man, get you something that can take a beating. Don't throw anything else on there that you wouldn't trust your life on. Aim point, I trust. I will. Th this, this optic has been used in wartime scenarios. It's used by law enforcement agencies. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of frills. You know, there's no multi-reticle system, um, but it works very, very, very well. The magnifier I have on here too, this is a, a, a Sig Sauer magnifier, not the top end of the spectrum, uh, but a very, very quality and rubbed, rugged magnifier. Please, 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 number three, don't chintz on anything. Don't do it. I just want to be clear on that last part there. I was talking about the things that you're using to uh, save your life, weapons, optics, lights, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the one thing I forgot there is plates. Um, don't skimp out on your plates. I have a pair of Armor Republic uh, polyethylene plates in here. Um, they're lightweight, but they are rugged and made for action. I've shot uh, not these ones, but other ones myself, and they do withstand, uh, get yourself something, um, flat level three, level three plus level four, something that's really, really going to protect you. As far as everything else goes, man, you know, like even your comm setup, like, sure. Do you want your comms to fail? No. Um, but it's not going to kill you. Um, get what you can afford when it comes to your comm setup. The setup I have right now works flawlessly every single time I use it. Is it the best? Does it have the best clarity? Does it have the best range? No, none of those things. It does not have, but it works. Everything else, when it comes to your, your plate carrier and your kit and everything, you know, I, I don't advocate for going on to uh, uh, Wish or Timu or AliExpress or whatever and, and getting that kind of stuff. Um, you never know how that's going to work out, especially if you've got plates inside of it. You want to make sure your plates stay there and they don't fall off. Um, I, I don't suggest doing that. Do you need the, uh, you know, four or $500 HRT LBAC? Um, no, you don't. I will say that it's the best thing I've ever put on my body for a plate carrier. Um, but the, you know, $150, $200 Shellback Rampage 2 works pretty well too. You, you, you don't get the modularity and the total weight uh, balancing, but you, you don't need creme de la creme products. But when it comes to firearms, when it comes to optics, when it comes to light lights, if you're putting your life on the line for those products, make sure they're quality. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about here today, uh, anything on our duty loadout, leave a comment down below. We love to respond to the good stuff and the negative stuff. If you say something negative, you probably get a smart ass answer from me, but whatever. Um, leave a comment down below, ask us the question. If you wanna get any of this stuff, if you like some of it, you like what you saw, you like anything on any of our other videos, click the link down below, it'll take you to our website and we have everything we've ever reviewed listed on there just for you guys. Subscribe to our channel, and if you want to get notified every single time that we make kick-ass content just like this, ring that notification bell. Until next time, I'm John from 2A Patriot Ranch.